Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Metal detective delivery at your service. Happy to be in a niche market, that's for sure. Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but... You deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. What else can you tell me? My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? And why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And, of course, there's the Institute. Who were the Gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. Then there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe.
Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? The man who... killed my wife. He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it, but that sound... Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Oh, yeah. I heard their names, their home addresses, and where their diary keys are hidden. All right, all right. Calm down. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but... No one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around ten years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Except since. No sense allowed Protection here. Protection for sale! Well, I didn't and want to pieces! I think you should know. Hey, swatter, swatter, Everything swatter, I dug swatter, up about it, Kellogg go. before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. <laughs> Except you. But nine to one odds says he's our man more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? I might be able to get that open. Just saying. Hey, sure, lock's too sure. stubborn for me. For sure. Go check that out. Try? Will do. This one might be rough. Don't get your hopes up. Shite. Almost had it that time. That was easy. How about a challenge next time? What I wouldn't give for a good stiff drink. Go ahead. Try the door. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind.
place seems small to you? Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Well, look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Gwinnett Stout Beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Any suggestions, Nick? Hmm. What about dog meat? Commonwealth mutt like him can track a man's scent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face <coughs> Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. Can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Bunch of junk in here. Can't wait to get out of this goddamn <clears throat> heat. Small ears. Pleasure to be talking to you again. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Get Kellogg, boy. Take me to that son of a bitch. <laughs> what I wouldn't give for a good stiff drink. Who needs a haircut? Everyone needs a haircut. Step up. Kellogg must have stopped here. Search around, see if we can pick up the trail.
them much good at this point. San Francisco Sunlights. Dog meat pick up the scent again? Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Looks like another one of Kellogg's pit stops. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> Bloody bandages. Now Dog me can track this. That nose is second to none. I'll need your nose to track Kellogg, boy. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? My parents were right. I should never have gotten mixed up with people from Good Neighbor. Bye. Some man Skinny Malone turned out to be. 
Hey. Go ahead. If I got it. <clears throat> My parents were right. I should never have gotten mixed up with people from Good Neighbor. Dog meets found something. You know the drill. A decoy, huh? Clever. You building a collection or something? Something for go ahead. Your thoughts? Remember, keep your eyes open. That was all I had. Sure, sure. Hey. Go ahead. Take a look. Thank 
Attacking known mercenary. Exercise extreme caution. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. What happened here? Error. Operator deceased. Threat level Omega. He killed us. We're still on track. Hopefully he's not much further. Still out there. We've got to track him, boy. Is this our man? Place? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. 